Q plus H. Okay, question six. HCNEQ plus H2O liquid equilibrium going to the hydronium ion and the cyanide ion. Okay, in the above equation, HCN is acting as, and we have the following options. So let's go with what we have. Sorry, just change my pen color. Okay, so here is our HCN, and we're looking for what it's doing. So what you've got to do is find out what did it change to. So this one has gone to this one. So we have gone to that. So what's actually happened is it has given away a H+. Plus. Um, by definition now, pro any proton donor is an acid. That's it. Question seven. The use of an indicator is not appropriate in titrations involving. Right, so this is to do with which ones give you a good, good change. Okay, a good point where you can get a good equivalence point. So basically, if I have a strong acid and a strong alkali, that's good. That'll give me a pH seven. That's all right. If I have a strong acid and a weak alkali, still all right, it's going to end up on the acid side, but that's going to be okay. If I have a weak acid and a strong alkali, also, sorry, I should be saying base, um, then this is also okay. I'm going to end up on pH above seven, but also fine. However, if I have a weak, weak, a weak acid and a weak base, then the equivalence point doesn't come out at a nice kind of clean level. If this is the pH changing, uh, then the pH kind of does that kind of change as opposed to one of the strong and weaks where you get like a quick shift. Okay, so this broad change doesn't help you. So what I'm looking for is a weak weak because we're looking for not appropriate. So get rid of A because hydrochloric strong, get rid of B because of nitric, seize my, my answer and just to check we're going to get rid of D because of sodium hydroxide. Also this was strong as well. Okay, so let me just spin this up. Right. Okay. Question eight, which of the following can produce a buffer solution when added to NH4Cl? Okay, so this is a salt. This is a salt of a weak base. And what we're looking at here is the ammonia and the ammonium chloride. Okay, so that's your definition of a buffer. You're looking for either a weak acid and its salt or a weak alkali and its salt. So what we have here, well, there's the salt, there's the weak one. And there are some things in here which are not weak, so won't help you. Uh, one of the places you can go to try and help yourself out is here. Uh, what we have here is the dissociation constants. Anything that comes up here, anything on here, is by definition weak. So that helps you sometimes to find the things which are weak. And you'll notice that down here we've got ammonium, okay, which has ammonia over here. Question nine, which of the following reactions cannot, it is in bold, so therefore is important, be described as an enthalpy of formation? Okay, your definition here. Okay, it's got to be one mole of a substance, which is no help to you whatsoever, because every single one of these is one mole, okay, formed uh, from its elements in their standard states. Okay, so those are the states at which you find them at standard temperature and pressure. So then you just need to go through. Okay, and so we're looking for something which is not standard. Um, so uh, where are we going? This is fine. 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 That is not. Okay, because chlorine in its standard state would be Cl2, but they've given it as 4Cl, and that's not how you would normally find it. Question 10. Which of the following is likely to have the lowest standard entropy at 100 degrees C? Here is um, the data book. I've just pulled out your melting and boiling points for the one and the only ones we're looking at. So I've got neon, I've got mercury, I have sulfur and I have phosphorus. OK, so be very clear on what we're looking at for entropy. So entropy is disorder. So low entropy. OK, low entropy, we are looking at solids and high entropy, you're looking at gases and liquids are somewhere in between the two. And if you were going to go 
how high can the entropy go, you would basically just go past how much further past the boiling point which got it from liquid to gas do you go. Okay, and the same for the low. Once you're a solid, you then say right, okay, how much f how much further away are you from the from the sorry, from the melting point? Okay, to get you down the way. Right, so lowest standard entropy, I am looking for a start. I want to have solids. 100 degrees C. So let's look, to start off with, let's look at their boiling points. Okay, um, so, in fact, melting point to be better, I suppose. Uh, let's cross off neon, because the boiling point here, uh, minus 249, means it's very quickly becoming a gas. Sulfur is still a solid, okay, and phosphorus has changed to a liquid, so let's get rid of that, and mercury has changed to a liquid, so let's get rid of that. There we go.